I know there are free software like SharpCab and stuff that you can probably use that can do this, that's free, but I thought with the DIY nature of the project, I wanted to write my own software for driving this camera. So we can do like crosshairs here. Let's just get some of these out of the way. Overexposed this by a lot. So now that outer ring matches the edge of the draw tube. So if we now pull the exposure back a bit, so we actually see the mirror again. This second ring here needs to now be centered on the main mirror, which you can see down here. So I'm going to just try to begin slowly adjusting this, see if I can get the main mirror to be at the center of that ring. I think there is pretty good. We make the second ring a little smaller. That now looks like the primary mirror is perfectly centered compared to that. So next up, you can see the black circle here in the middle that's the secondary mirror on the way back so if we take this circle here and try to expand that outwards to see that it's pretty well I think with the secondary maybe that's a little bit off we can see a bit of light out here on this side so I'm gonna turn this around and try to do some fine adjustments here there that looks pretty good if we take that third ring and make that a tad smaller it's a bit now on the lower left now something like that I think is pretty good is this as good as the commercial product Probably not, but if you're on a budget and you have a 3D printer, this is a very, very viable way to go. And as I said, yes, I wrote my own software for this because I thought it was fun. You can use, I think SharpCab have similar features. So there are free software that does this too. Otherwise, get a hold of me and you can get the Python files for this if, you, uh, if you're interested.